So that's something that we really need Daniel Andrews to recognise as well. In the four years that he's had tenure, he's, um, um, he's intimated that he's going to do and make some steps towards environmental protection. He hasn't. Uh, we feel incredibly disappointed in that, but now is, it's his opportunity to step into that nature space and realise that there is a park deficit in Victoria and what we have are these isolated patches of reserves and they really, really do need to be connected up together um, for that landscape to continue into our future as a legacy, as an environmental legacy for Victorians for our children's children. Well, we're here today because we have this beautiful gift for Dan Andrews in this box. It represents the regions who have come together with a message of we love our forests. We, in here are gifts from all of us to say, please, Dan, um, consider our forests. The forests are important to us from an ecological point of view because it has unique fauna and flora. It's Melbourne's water supply, not only ours. It's a future source of jobs and recreation and tourism. We know that uh, there are greater gliders in our coops which will be killed if the, if the logging goes ahead. Vic Forest has not done sufficient surveys in the forest that they're about to log and uh, in a number of instances we've been able to film Leadbeater's possum, a critically endangered animal. Give local farmers the opportunity to put in plantations and transition this industry into plantations as soon as possible. To present this gift to Daniel Andrews as a symbol of um, what we're losing. Um, it's called Dear Dan and inside we have messages and tokens from all of the regional groups. Everybody needs beauty as well as bread, places to play in and pray in where nature may heal and give strength to body and soul alike. John Muir, 1912. We now have a regional community group, which means that we've joined forces across the Central Highlands to support each other. The, the communities uh, need support, and we need Melbourne to come in and help. We're a pretty traumatised community, but we're, I think we're building up again because we really do expect Dan Andrews to actually come and see us and speak to us and it's not right that you can go to the other end of the town where our trees are to the mill and talk to people there and give them hope and take away our hope and never come and see us and the destruction you cause. And he needs to take some responsibility for the damage and the heartbreak that he's caused in across the Central Highlands. They are logging in Tlangi, up where Dennis Road is first. They are ripping out the hillsides just to line Vic Porus purse. For the wood chip smell of money, not sweet eucalyptus oil, and a profit's all they're growing in that fertile mountain soil. Now the flora and the fauna must surrender their domain to the dozers, and the chainsaws and soon all that will remain is a broken barren landscape where the bones of ancient trees slowly rot in splintered gullies falling prey to man's disease. They will argue that they're careful, say they take just what they need, but there's nothing much left standing by unchecked commercial greed. First the bushfires devastation scarred that hellish Saturday and now men arrive to plunder in their own destructive way. Thus the mountain ash, the tree ferns and the animals and the birds will be lost to paper products killed by bureaucratic words. So enjoy that piece of paper, feel its texture, note the shade, then remember where it came from in a forest leafy glade. David Campbell, July 2011. Okay, thank you. Victoria is the most cleared state in Australia and we are losing trees at an alarming rate and every tree that comes down really affects us viscerally, it does. How can they possibly ignore 
the work of these wonderful ecologists who are telling them, this man Lee is a courageous man. I admire a lot of the things he's done, but he's got a blind spot as far as the environment goes. And I don't know where that comes from politically. Our government's got the resources to retrain all of those people into really meaningful jobs. I really wonder what happens to them when they chop down these trees. So I think we're going to do a little talk now about the forest and about those logging trucks we've been watching go down the road up in Tulangi. So we live up in Tulangi, we've been living there for about a year. Uh, we moved up there because we've totally fallen in love with the forest. Um, and the desire to protect it is uh, growing stronger and stronger every time we see those logging trucks drive out. So these forests are, are the lungs of Melbourne, you know, this is our, this is our air and this is our water that we're looking after here. So we have this heritage that we're responsible for. These are thousands of years old, these forests. Why, why aren't we saving them for the next generation? I don't understand Daniel Andrews. I've come out here today, Daniel Andrews, because I basically think you're a good Premier in every other area except the environment. And obviously, there's a lot of forces preventing you doing the right thing by our forests and our wildlife. We have endangered species, we have critically endangered habitats, and you're not taking responsibility. It's relying on us to say to you, stop the logging of all Victorian old forests now. Dan Andrews, you can change this. You've got the guts and we will support you. Please, Dan, um, consider our forests. Daniel Andrews can't afford to look at So please, Dan, all we ask for is don't touch our forest. Really, in the long term, it's our children's children who will benefit. Dan, we've had enough.